Let's create stacked images or stacked widgets which overlap on each other. Therefore, we create here two variants. The first one is that we overlap the images from left to right. And secondly, we overlap the images from right to left. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started with an our build method and here inside we want to create a method build stacked images and inside of this method we define then the size of these images and we also define the images itself so we are creating here three URLs which are pointing to these images. And then we want to build these images, therefore we simply map over our images and for each of these image URLs we create then our image widget. And this is the method which we want to create later, but before this we also want to return here a new widget, stacked widgets, and this is a widget which we want to create. And here inside we pass then these both properties, size and items inside. And now we want to create this build image method to create here one independent image. Therefore we create here a new method build image and here we get then this URL image which is one of these URLs and we simply return here then an image network and put the URL image inside. Next we want to create the stacked widgets. Therefore I have created here the stacked widgets as a new class and here inside we pass then also these items and the size which we have passed in before. And now within our build method we want to display our items, therefore we simply map here over our items. And for each of these items we want to create then a container and inside of this container we want to set then a width and height and we simply set it then to the size which we have got here. And lastly we put then this item inside of our child widget. And with this we make sure that each of the items which we get here within our list is also having the size, the width and height which we have defined. And lastly we simply return here this value which we have created and also want to display all of these items. Therefore we create here first of all a row widget and inside of it we pass then all these items. And now if I hot reload you see we have here all of these images inside and these are basically here the items which we have passed in before. And each of these items are then here our images which we have created. And now we want to continue and also stack these images and make them rounded. Therefore we go here back to our build image method and here we also want to wrap this clip oval around so that we make our images rounded. If you look at the design which we want to accomplish then you see we have here every time this border around so that we make it more beautiful and also if you have a black background then we also have here a border around our images. To achieve this we simply wrap around our image another widget which is a container and we put here right now a black background color inside. And secondly we want to add here some space around our image, therefore I put here some padding inside and we also define here the border size which is 5. And this looks then like this, so we have here more space around our image. And lastly we also want to make here our border rounded and therefore we take here the same trick as before. We simply wrap here around our widget a clip oval and with this we see here that everything is clipped and rounded. And if you later want to change here the border size then you also can for example put a lower value inside so we have only two pixels or you can also put a higher value inside so that the border is bigger. And with this we are pretty close to the design which we want to achieve. The last step is also to make our images stacked on each other. To achieve this stacked design we simply go here inside of our stacked widgets again and then we replace here the row with a stack widget and we also can remove the main axis alignment. And with this we have now three images stacked on top of each other so you can only see here one image however below it we have the other two images. And now the last thing is only to change the position of our stacked images so that we can see also all of our images again. To achieve this we want to change here our map method so instead of only getting here the item we also want to get the index and therefore I use here this as map method and then you get first of all the index of the item which we display and also the item itself. And we also get here a small error because the map method needs to return right now a map entry and therefore I will also change here this so we return here a map entry and then we access here the values again and return our list. 
And now if I hot reload, you see there is no change in the UI because this is exactly doing the same thing, only that we also have now access to the index which we want to use right now. Before we stack our images, we go again to our stack widget and here I wrap a container around and I set a background color of blue. And with this, you see the stack size is limited to this area right now. And now we simply want to go to our container and here inside we want to set then a margin for each of our items and therefore we simply make the margin dependable on the index and we multiply it with the size. So the size is every time 100, this is the size of our image. And now if I hot reload, you see we have all the images again placed next to each other. And with this statement, we basically set the margin for each of these images. So the first image has then here an index of zero and then it also has a margin to the left side of zero. And the second image has here an index of one and multiplied with the size of 100, we have then a margin to the left side of 100. And this means that our image is here 100 pixels to the left side away. And the same logic also applies to our third image. So here we have then the index two and multiplied with the size of 100, we have then a margin to the left side of 200. And this means that this image here has 200 pixels to the left side. And now we can simply change here the size to also make our images stacked on each other. And therefore I put here this left inside and here I change then the size and put it minus 20. And with this we change then the margin a bit. And like you can see our images are then all overlapped. And if you put here a higher value inside then they are even more overlapped. And if you put here a lower value inside then they are less overlapped. And lastly you also can replace the shift which we are doing here by another variable and you simply add it then to your widget and to your constructor. And with this you can then change also the shift later outside of this widget. Next we want to overlap our images from the left to the right side or from the right to the left side. Therefore we add in our stacked widget a text direction and we also put here the text direction initially to left to right. Then we go here down to our stack widget and here inside dependable on this direction we want to put then our items reversed inside or we simply put our items directly inside. And with this we can now change here our text direction so if we have left to right then also the images are drawn left to right first and you also can put here right to left inside and then after your hot restart you see that the images are drawn from right to left. And the same also applies if you want to draw, for example, images under each other. And therefore you simply go here to your container and instead of left, you would put it then to top. And now if I hot reload, you see that we draw our images here under each other. And our right to left is then here from bottom to top. And you also can put here again left to right inside. And then our images are drawn here from top to bottom. So the first image is overlapping the second image. And for production, of course, remove here again the container with the blue color because this was only for demonstration. And you also can go to your main file again. And here inside you can then also change the color of your border. So instead you can, for example, put it to white. And now you see it looks already much better. And also if we put here again our margin in our stacked image to left, then it also looks pretty good. And by the way, if you want to get here this whole source code of this application, then you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses, where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye.